Good morning, viewers at home. Today we are going to take a look at simultaneous linear equations. We all know the word simultaneous means two things happening at the same time. So when you have simultaneous equations, it means you are solving two equations at the same time. So by doing that, you are going to get the values of two different variables. We have different methods of solving simultaneous equations. We have the substitution method, we have the elimination method, and we can also solve simultaneous equations by the use of graphs. So today we are going to take a look at the substitution method. When you have two equations like x minus 2y equals 1, 2x plus y equals 7, these are what we call simultaneous equations. So we are going to solve these two equations now using substitution method. The first thing to do in using this method, we've been given equation 1 and equation 2. We are going to derive our equation 3 from any of these two equations. I may decide to use equation 1 or use equation 2. The first thing is, you, if I'm using equation 1, I will try and make one of the variables as the subject of formula. That is, in equation 1, we have x minus 2y equals 1. So I'm taking equation 1 now to get my equation 3. If I want to make x as the subject of this formula, all I have to do is to take this to the right hand side. I have 1 plus 2y. This becomes my equation 3. Don't forget I said we can also use equation 2 to get equation 3. So it is not compulsory that we must always use equation 1. Now, having gotten this equation 3, we will now substitute the name of the method is substitution. We will now substitute 1 plus 2y that we just got here for x in equation 2. We are no longer going to use equation 1 because we used equation 1 to derive equation 3. So we cannot substitute this one back into equation 1. It is going to be in equation 2. Equation 2 says 2x plus y equals 7. And my x is to be replaced by 1 plus 2y. So 2 bracket 1 plus 2y, then plus y equals 7. If I open this bracket, 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 2, so I have 4y plus y equals 7. Now, I will collect like terms. That is, the variables will be at the left hand side, while the constants will be at the right hand side. 4y plus 1y that is 5y. 7 minus 2, we have 5. So the next thing is to divide both sides by 5. 5y over 5 equals 5y over 5. 5 times is 5. Here, sorry, 5 over 5. 5 also comes as 5 here. 1. So that means my y equals 1. My y is 1. Then, having gotten the value of y, we'll go back to equation 3. That is the easiest equation for us to get the value of x. In equation 3, x equals 1 plus 2y. That means x in equation 3. x is 1 plus 2y. That is 1 plus 2 times 1 because our y is 1. So x equals 1 plus 2 times 1, 2. x equals 3. So therefore, x equals 3, y equals 1. So we have just solved these two equations by getting the values of x and y. Thank you.